Trishanku was a king of the Solar dynasty who lived many generations before Rama. In his vanity, he wanted to ascend to the heavens in his physical body. Natural law does not allow it. And so he pleaded with Rishi Vishwamitra to make it happen. By his yogic powers, Rishi Vishwamitra prepared to send him to the heavens, but his journey was stopped midway by the forces of nature. In modern astronomy, the star Trishanku is called Crux, which is part of the constellation, the Southern Cross. In Indian mathematics, each exponential power of 10 has a name. For instance, 10 raised to the power of 2 is called Varga. 10 raised to the power of 3 is called Ghana. 10 raised to the power of 4 is called Varga Varga. These names exist till 10 to the power of 84. In these series, 10 to the power of 13 is called Shanku. Trishanku would mean 3 into 10 to the power of 13. In Jyotisha, the unit to measure distance is called Mahayojana. One Shanku Mahayojana is equal to 68 light years. Trishanku Mahayojana would then be 3 times 68, which is 204 light years. According to modern astronomy, the star Crux or Trishanku is about 205 light years away. Let us go back to the story of Trishanku once again. There could be another interpretation. If you look at the Milky Way galaxy, it's a spiral galaxy. The uh, solar system and the Earth are in one of the arms and the various stars are in the other arms. Now, with the relative motion between the solar system, which is going around the galaxy, center of the galaxy, and the Trishanku system, which is also going around the center of the galaxy, there could have been positions where the Trishanku star would have appeared to be moving away from the sun or the earth and later falling back towards the earth again and stopping at one point which is about 204 light years that we measure today. Most of the Indian legendary stories in astronomy have a hidden meaning which seem to relate to some astronomical celestial event. Could this also be one of them? <laughs>